Ranking Mark Zuckerberg, the lizard. The lizard Mark Zuckerberg wants an active role in President Trump's tech policies. From the, this is from the Financial Times. Financial Times says that Mark Zuckerberg wants to do what? Why was he invited? Nobody wants him. Nobody trusts him. Nobody, everybody knows that this guy is a snake, like literally. And nobody, literally nobody wants him. I had one comment on X and said, well, he, he's, he's got access to a lot of evidence, and that's true. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, you remember that just a couple months ago or like three months ago, he was, it wasn't, no, it was in July 19. Mark Zuckerberg praising Trump was definitely not on my 2024 bingo card. This was immediately after the assassination attempt. I guess that at that point, you know that Mark Zuckerberg is like Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos did, did all that I uh, made sure that the Washington Post did not endorse Kamala Harris because he had access to vast amounts of data. What was people buying? People were not buying Kamala merch at Amazon. People were buying MAGA merch at Amazon. Bezos knew that. And Bezos had already seen the writing on the wall. They were preparing. And, and after the assassination attempt, I'm pretty sure that Zuckerberg already knew that Donald Trump was going to win. And so he began to, you know, align himself with uh, the dawn. I've done some stuff personally in the past. I'm not planning on doing that this time. Um, and that includes, you know, not endorsing either of the candidates. Um, now, look, I mean, there's obviously a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. I mean, the historic events over the last, like over the weekend. And I mean, on a personal note, it's, you know, I mean, seeing Donald Trump get, get up after getting shot in the face and pump his fist in the air with the American flag is one of the most badass things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but, um, but, but look, I mean, it's, um, you know, as, and I think, look, it's, at some level as an American, it's like hard to not get kind of emotional about that spirit. Um, yeah, that fight, I think that it's that, uh, that the, problem, the problem is that uh, one can also get emotional about all the, um, all, all the data and all the power and how you have misused that, Mark. Some of you already remember, uh, must remember that I don't have a Facebook page anymore. I have a no present presence on Facebook whatsoever, any, any trace of anyone resembling myself on Facebook is a bot, an AI, a copycat or anything. I don't have any uh, presence on uh, Facebook whatsoever because Facebook uh, just suspended my page just by sharing my videos about Kamala Harris in there. And you remember that my videos were completely professional. There were no outbursts. There were no uh, cussing. There were no, um, were completely family friendly. And even that without right to appeal that was deleted. And also you have to remember the Cambridge Analytica scandal on 2018. when it was revealed that the political consulting firm Cambridge Analytica harvested data through a quiz app on Facebook ostensibly for academic research. This data, however, was used to create detailed voter profiles to target individuals with pol political ads during events such as the uh, 2016 U.S. presidential election and the Brexit referendum. We uh, knew this. We knew that uh, this was being used to weaponize. And you cannot tell me that, oh, Mark Zuckerberg had no idea about this. This was happening with Facebook's data. And I remember when I was a Facebook power user, it was uh, really complicated. It was difficult to create things on like, like this, that this uh, because you needed to have a developer account. You needed a series of permissions. You had to state uh, the amount of uh, the nature of the data that you were going to uh, acquire and what were you going to use that data for. And of course, if you were working at Facebook, and you saw a huge spike of data of people just filling a quiz app on your platform, you at the very least you should like take a look. 
And I'm sure they took a look, but they already knew what was going on, and they decided to not say, not do anything about that. So that's why nobody trusts uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Cash Patel less than anybody. And he um, he made sure to uh, uh, to to uh, you know be be clear be clear about that. Let me see if I can. I didn't generate the captions for this. Let me generate them right now. I forgot this. Uh, should be like ten seconds or so. Less than 10 seconds, and then we go here. Okay. What did Cash Patel say about Mark Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg is a fraud pretending <laughs> to good. care about American democracy and the election. This guy spent 400 million last election cycle, and I don't care what he says, he is going to spend money somehow, some way in this election cycle. And let's put that aside. He owns one of the largest social media companies on earth in Facebook, Meta, and Instagram. I didn't hear the CEO and owner, Mark Zuckerberg, come out and say, I guarantee you my companies will not participate in censorship. This is important, and many people in the United States are not aware that Facebook also owns WhatsApp. I noticed that he he uh, mentioned he, he mentioned uh, this guy spent four hundred million last election cycle, and I don't care what he says, he is going to spend money somehow, some way in this election cycle. And let's put that aside. He owns one of the largest social media companies on earth in Facebook, Meta, and Instagram. Yeah, Meta is the company. Facebook and Instagram are two of the main products but the third main product it's whatsapp and you know i know that many of you in the uh, in uh, the united states uh, do not use uh, whatsapp it's not a it's not a requirement there and for all of us in in every other country we use whatsapp all the time and yes i remember that it was 18 or 19 billion dollars that uh, zuckerberg shell out for WhatsApp back in the day. Why? What for? Well, of course, the data. Uh, WhatsApp used to be uh, very private. Um, all the conversations could be private. They are not anymore. Uh, Zuckerberg has access to all the data that is shared on Facebook, on Instagram, and on WhatsApp, including your direct messages. So everything that you have done in Facebook, everything that every message that you have sent in Facebook, every message, a messenger, right, is the name, on Instagram or on WhatsApp, he owns all that. He can take a look at all of that. He can, well, have all the predictions with all that. And of course, he can control what people see in real time. And it's so many people get their uh, their news from Facebook, and so many people share their stuff on WhatsApp worldwide, then the amount of power that Zuckerberg has is, uh, is immense. It's something that is, uh, uh, it's, it's brutal. It's brutal. So you, you, need, you need to realize the amount of power that we're talking about here. It, it, it rivals uh, Jeff Bezos' power, but uh, as far as I know, there are no direct messages on on Amazon. So if you you think that you you're having a regular conversation with somebody on WhatsApp or through Instagram messages or to Messenger on Facebook, all that is just open for any person at Facebook or or, or Meta to check. Okay, uh, I guess that they will have their their levels of clearance and more stuff, but they can see your messages. It's that simple. They can see your messages in every shape or form. So make sure to be careful of what you send in there. Maybe, maybe it's too late. Maybe it's too late. The warning was too late. Which uh, platforms should be safer? Telegram should be safer if you use the encrypted mode. Signal should be safer if you use the uh, Signal. I think it's already encrypted. Uh, signal is a great option. But still, it's, it's like they say, in general, you 
you need you need to assume that uh, that, that uh, you have to be careful what you do with this with this kind of uh, platforms. This kind of platforms because well, this is uh, these are the issues that we have to deal people with immense power over our lives only because they know where we are. It's like Google Maps or Apple Maps. They know where we are, what we do every day. They predict the things that we're going to do. That's if you have enough data. If you have a, an AI big enough to crunch all the data, you can predict um, what is people going to do in the future. And predict, of course, maybe predict crimes at some point. Unless, of course, it goes against the narrative of DEI. If it goes against the narrative, then no, 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 that, that AI has to be... Uh, uh, I didn't hear the CEO and owner, Mark Zuckerberg, come out and say, I guarantee you my companies will not participate in censorship at the behest of the FBI or anyone else in the federal government, like we did in the last two elections, like we did with Hunter Biden's laptop, like we did with the 51 Intel letter. He could have said that, but he didn't because he wants it to happen. And as a sort of proactive, preemptive move to say, oh, I told you so. He came out to the media and said, oh, you know, uh, I, I'm, my bad, I'm sorry. But it doesn't matter to these guys because they're going to go past November 5th. And if they get their way and Harris is awarded the victory. Did not happen. Thank God. They're just going to be like nothing to see here. And if Donald Trump wins, they'll come back and say, see, our companies tried to comply. But it's, <laughs> it's BS. What is happening right now? What is happening right now? Yeah, it's uh, Zuckerberg is trying to uh, get himself into default. Zuckerberg is trying to buy himself some time, uh, do something about it, and well, it's um, will it work? We we still we still don't know. What I I I hope that they just shut the door on him. I think that anyway. I'm sure that Donald Trump trusts Elon Musk uh, a lot more, and Elon's gonna do the the actual work with Vivek in, in Dodge, uh, cleaning cleaning up shop. 